Hey there, you're welcome to English with Kingy Faye. Uh, yes, so let's quickly dive into today's accent play. Yeah, I know you love accent play. <laughs> accent play helps you to hone your spoken English. That's how I planned it. I want you to understand that Nigerians pronounce uh, words differently from Brits and Americans, but sometimes we do get to pronounce words in similar fashion uh, to the way they do. So let's take a look at the sentence and see how uh, what we can learn from the sentence. So the sentence that I've got here says, you can see it here, the American accent. Lieutenant Basil, while enjoying some leisure time during his mobile vacation, used anti-fragile packaging to protect delicate items he brought along. British accent. Lieutenant Basil, while enjoying some leisure time during his mobile vacation, used anti-fragile packaging to protect delicate items he brought along. Nigerian accent. Lieutenant Basil, while enjoying some leisure time during his mobile vacation, used anti-fragile packaging to protect delicate items he brought along. Okay, so... That's it. Let's quickly go take a look at the words uh, one after the other and see how we pronounce them. So the first word is lieutenant. The word lieutenant in uh, that's in British English. It's lieutenant in um, American English. It's lieutenant. Lieutenant in Nigerian English. It's usually uh, lieutenant or lieutenant so most people say lieutenant lieutenant they try to pronounce it more like the britain but they uh stress it wrongly so it's lieutenant lieutenant it's like you left a tenant tenant <laughs> lieutenant so that's how you pronounce the word appropriately so it's not lieutenant it's lieutenant then the next word is a name very tricky and this name uh, you have a lot of persons bear this name in nigeria and the name is basil 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 in British in American English it's called basil, basil, basil. So I noticed that most persons, most young people, tend to pronounce the name um, basil as basil, and that's mostly because of the cartoons they watch. I think a lot of cartoons do have the name basil in it. So if your child pronounce the name basil as basil, I, I think it's the American influence from the cartoons they watch. Nigerian pronunciation is simply basil. Basile. So it's Basile in Nigerian English. In case maybe your name is Basil and you come to Nigeria and somebody calls you Basile, just know you're the one they're calling. So it's uh, Basil in standard British English. Then we also have the word uh, leisure. Leisure in British English. Leisure in uh, leisure. Leisure in American English. You have to make the, the rhotic R coming. Leisure. In Nigerian English, it's simply a leisure. Leisure. Yes. So uh, then the next word is mobile. Mobile in British English. In American English, it's mobile. 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 Mobile phone. In British English, mobile phone. In Nigerian English, it's mobile. It's still mobile in Nigerian English. So we kind of go with Britons here. Uh, then we have the word uh, vacation. Vacation in British English. Vacation in American English. In Nigerian English, we say vacation. Vacation. So the schwa is elongated in such a way that it becomes an a. Ah. The mouth opens really wide. Vacation. Vacation. To go on a vacation. So it's vacation. Vacation. So vacation should... Uh, this vacation should be pronounced the same way with vacation, vacation, vacation. But in Nigerian English, we say vacation and vocation, vocation, vacation. But in standard English, it's still vacation, vacation. Both of them are actually homophones. <laughs> you didn't know that. So you learned something new today. So the next is the word anti, anti in British English and anti in American English. So we have anti then the next word is fragile fragile in british english fragile in american english and in nigerian english is fragile fragile so it's uh we're, we're falling back to british english here so you see <laughs> so it's anti-fragile in british english 
anti-fragile in American English, anti-fragile in American English, and anti-fragile in Nigerian English. So uh, we're cool with that. Then the next word is brought. So we have we say okay. Uh, let's just quickly look at the the tap the the tap t in American English. So we have the word brought along, brought along, brought along. The t in brought uh, in American English is saying it changes to a tap. Brought along, brought along, brought along. That's what you're going to hear in American English. So you hear brought along. It also the the o sound changes to o. Brought brought in american english brought brought in american english brought in british english then in nigerian english we simply say brought to i think we follow the american americans in that pattern of pronunciation so we say brought he brought it home he brought it along in nigerian english we say brought along brought along in british english is brought along brought along in american english is simply brought along brought along brought along so you hear the d brought along so that's it so uh that's all for today uh thank you so much for listening and i hope you learned something new today and every other day you're going to be learning a whole lot if you stay right here uh on english with kingy Fay. i am kingy Fay, and i more than anything love to see you prosper thank you